uh, PRUSH has been recently discussed on the Steam Hack forums, and I think it's a pretty intriguing idea. It definitely could work, so I'll give it a shot myself. For those of you who are unaware, RP Rush is basically a form of RP that places heavy emphasis on scoring the Nisei train. Uh, yeah, think of it as an Astro train, Atlas train, except in the Red Faction. With running two fast tracks, you can guarantee that you will find the Niseis whenever you want, even if you are under R&D lock, and that's the power of this deck, to create a scoring remote so quickly that a runner cannot possibly challenge it uh, early enough. And once you get more and more Nisei's token accumulated, uh, it gets pretty impossible for the runner to contest your scoring remote, which is the whole point of this deck. You play an RP because you want to really minimize the number of runs they can get on your remote, which again maximizes the power of Caprice Nisei and Nisei Mark II. Uh, my opening hand is fantastic, no, uh, no agendas at all. Even if I need an agenda to score, Fast Track will be there for me. Anonymous tip draws me whatever I need and sweeps weak is a hedge fund replacement, or not replacement, rather a supplement, and it's very effective in this deck because for your economy, you're running a Mental Health Clinics, which synergizes very well with Sweet Sweet, so I think it's definitely worth the two influence. Most of the ice in this deck is hard and the run, so you have your wraparounds, your uh, enigmas, your chimera, and um, one big hallmark of this deck, the differentiate Differentiate differentiates it from the rest of the rush decks like Grindel Super Mon uh, yeah, Grindel Super Monism is that you use Excalibur, which costs no influence and synergizes very well with the fact that you're playing RP and all the Nisei's. Alright, so here he suspects that there's an agenda in my hand, he's not wrong about that because Anonymous Tip has to draw me an agenda some more later, so he made 3 runs and trashed my Caprice Nisei, which was a huge setback. I really need that Caprice to start scoring reliably. Now, Susano goes on R&D here, because I want some form of ice that is almost impossible to break for Kate. And Susano is the one big tool you have against most prepaid Kate decks, which my opponent is running. In the meantime, he does snipe my Nisei from hand eventually, which is a huge, huge pity. Um, I was going to score that. Anyway, I do draw it to an NAPD. There's not much point scoring it right now, because... Um, He's pretty rich, he can easily contest my remote if he wants to, and Chimera is actually a horrible piece of ice against Kate. In fact, this deck doesn't do very well against Kate at all. Once SMC is out, you can't really keep them out. You need a double layer of ice, and that's what I'm going for here. In the meantime, he does get an SMC out, and I'm going to force him to use it by raising Cortex Lock for pretty cheap. So will he break the Cortex Lock? That is always a tough question. If he finds a DSX for it, he will be down to nothing, and that's a bad idea. So he will definitely get hit with the net damage, and well, he gets his Shogamma and Lucky Fine gets slammed out of his hand. So that was a very huge setback for him. Cortex Lock actually worked pretty well in that scenario. Um, it's not very common that I can say that, but yes, it did its job here as an early game ice. Alright, the game uh, lags a bit here, so you will be seeing me frozen for a while. Um, yes, so at this point, I really want to get an agenda out, but the problem is, since he trashed my Caprice Nisei, I cannot start scoring in the remote. So instead, I'm just going to show you my hand with Celeb Gift. This is pretty risky, but my agendas are pretty hard to steal, so that should be fine. And I sniped out most of his money already with the net damage, so I don't think he's going to want to steal the NAPD right now. He'll be pretty poor. And he makes himself even poorer by going for the Parasite on the Cortex Lock. He's definitely aiming for HQ here, knowing that um, the agendas are clogged up with hand. So this actually seems like a perfect time to score the Nisei. I'm not so sure though, because I place Excalibur as the outermost piece of ice. Excalibur doesn't actually help much. I should have placed something else like a wraparound or a Chimera. It's still not too late to do that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to place the Chimera there and score the Nisei. This is definitely the play I'm looking to make, and I will almost certainly get the Nisei off. This will be pretty huge in helping me score future agendas. So in the meantime, he's very fast at back. He needs to find another program tutor, and he needs to get his money going. Well, he has 13 credits, which is quite a lot. His lucky find just now paid off. And he size sizes my remote. Alright. The dog comes out, but he doesn't have time to run it because I'm RP. So this is why you play RP instead of some other ID. Um, they, they cannot install mess install all their breakers and go for the gender. So I definitely score it right now. 
and that's a very huge win for me. And I don't have to worry too much about money because hedge fund is in my hand. So things are looking on the up for me right now, but I need to keep in mind that the parasite is taking down on um, HQ and it'll be gone next turn. It's definitely not worth purging, but that is something I need to keep in mind. So here he continues running my R&D and I cannot defend R&D unfortunately, Susano is very expensive. I would much rather have an Eli on R&D, but then again that's easy to break with dog, so it's almost impossible to keep Kate out at this point. I just need to try to rush out agendas before he gets he gets me good. So here I do the only conceivable thing I can. I try to score in the remote. Um I usually when you get to mid game with this sort of rush RP deck, you will be locked. RD locked, HQ locked. You just have to hope that they don't get the agendas and that their agenda your agendas will protect themselves. This wasn't the case here. Um, the future perfect, losing the future perfect was huge. Um, I lost the side game, and because of that, he's now at match point. Now here he attempts to contest my next agenda, but I am easily able to stop him. And Excalibur ensures that he cannot install a mimic and rerun that server. So I'm definitely going to score the NAPD to stun. That's very good news. So now I'm up, uh, up to four points. If I find my next future perfect, I can try to score it for the win. And I still have the DC token to play with. Now here, he make a sign me. I have no choice but to let him in and just hope that he doesn't find a gender. He does and that's the case. Did I get unlucky there? Well, sort of, but then and again, it wasn't as if I was a gender flooded. And yeah, it just all came down to the fact that I had nothing on R&D to protect. I, yeah, I have nothing of worth on R&D to protect it. Um, Susano should not have been an R&D ice. That was a huge mistake. It is pretty taxing for the runner to get through once it's rest, but the problem is, can I raise it? No, I could never find the money to raise it. Um, all I had this game for money was Sweet Sweet, Hedge Fund, and Celeb Gift, 3 cards. That's not nearly enough to pay for the 9 rest costs of Susano, and that is inherently the problem with Rush decks. Um, you can't keep the runner out of R&D lock for long enough to score enough agendas to win the game. And anyway, it is so hard to create a scoring server against Kate. In this game, I had to create a 3 deep remote just to give myself the confidence of scoring agendas, knowing that he couldn't steal them. And that came at the cost of not having enough money to pay for central defense, which ultimately cost me the game. Uh, Rush RP is not very good against the flexibility of shapers or the remote penetration power of criminals. And this is a good reason why I think this is not a viable deck to bring to regionals. But maybe I'm just piloting it, piloting it wrong. Can you think of ways I could improve my game? Do leave a comment below. Thanks for watching Happy Net Running. See you around.